a typical ensemble of a khayal performance includes, besides the tabla of course, melodic accompaniment. And we will look at this in this video. Melodic accompaniment in Indian classical music serves the function of supporting the lead performer. It is not to offer a contrast like in Western classical music or other music. Chords, for instance, played on the guitar offer a contrast with the voice and the song and the music gains vertical dimensions through accompaniment in Western music. But that is not the case in uh, Indian classical music. In fact, the word for accompaniment in Hindustani music is Sangat or Sat, both of which have the meaning of going along with, together with. In Khayal, the ideal melodic accompaniment is seen as following the vocalist like an unobtrusive shadow, sounding like the voice and playing exactly voice, what the vocalist renders. This can be challenging of course, but it is possible because of shared traditions of performance, raga, tala, etc. There is still bound to be a time lag, which it is the skill of the accompanist to minimize. The lead performer, the vocalist in Khayal, leads in every way and the accompanists have to literally follow the lead performer. So there is a certain, if one may say, hierarchy here. This is evident even in the seating arrangement on the stage. The vocalist will be at the center and the accompanist sit on her sides, looking at her all the time, not facing the audience like the uh, vocalist would be. The vocalist will face the audience full on, the accompanist will sit sideways so that they have a full view of the lead performer. They, are, they will look at the lead performer all the time, all their senses are cued in the hearing, seeing, feeling. It is a unique challenge and being a good accompanist involves many skills besides good musicianship. Now standard melodic accompaniment in Khayal is offered by Sarangi or harmonium and more rarely by the violin. But the most common melodic accompaniment these days is the harmonium which is a wind instrument and it works by uh, a key, works on the principle of a keyboard that the keyboard is pressed and then the sounds uh, the music is uh, produced so the keys or the pitches on any keyboard are fixed so this should be a puzzle to anyone because when we have harped so much on microtonality and the continuity in the ornament, ornamentation of uh, the music and how fundamental these are to ragas and to Hindustani music. How can the harmonium which in principle cannot produce either microtonality or definitely not continuity, how can the harmonium have such a strong presence. There are no easy answers to this. The harmonium is an instrument of European origin and it displaced the traditional sarangi as accompanying instrument. The sarangi itself is probably not a very ancient instrument. It is it's a bowed string instrument with a strong presence in folk music of the north and northwestern regions of the country. The sarangi has a rich plaintive sound. It is very capable of producing vocal nuances. Mm, the sarangi has three main playing strings made of gut and about 35 metallic sympathetic strings. 
which are divided into four sets. And these are called taraf strings. So you can imagine that tuning the ta tuning the sarangi is quite a task. Tuning the tarafs, the sympathetic strings, is an important problem of the instrument, and uh, there is some element of personal preference in the tuning method adopted. In fact, it has been said that he who can tune the sarangi correctly is already half a sarangi player. I guess it can be said of almost any instrument. You learn to tune an instrument properly, you are probably a very good musician yourself. The multi-layered tonal texture of the sarangi and the fact that microtonality and continuity of the music can be maintained on the sarangi make it eminently suitable, suited to accompany khayal. But in fact, the sarangi is an endangered instrument today. The sarangi needs some retuning with every raga. That is, you cannot have one tuning for all ragas. So you have a concert, every time one piece ends, the next raga is taken up for presentation, the sarangi would have to be retuned to some extent. And this definitely makes it less efficient than the harmonium, which does not require any tuning. Okay, it's just keyboard. In fact, even in terms of maintenance, it's much uh, easier than the sarangi. The sarangi would need to be tuned several times within the same performance with the change in ragas. So, and in the context of today's concerts held in auditoria with time constraints all around, not to speak of the absence of the relaxed mindset of an earlier era, all this makes the sarangi a bit of an anachronism. And this is certainly one of the reasons it has been gradually pushed out of the performance scene. Please visit the link below to listen to a khayal concert with the accompaniment of the sarangi. And such performances are all too rare these days. We, it's very rare to have a con khayal concert with sarangi accompaniment. The sarangi and sarangi players were closely as linked with the tawaif culture, the courtesan salon culture. The Sarangi masters were both teachers of the courtesans as well as accompanists during the performances of the Tawaifs. Now, this community was disenfranchised, it was erased as part of social reform during the early um, or mid 20th century. And with the fall of the Tawaif, the Sarangi players also faced stigma. So these are, you know, two easily identifiable reasons why the Sarangi has been replaced by the harmonium. One is the convenience aspect and the other is the socio-cultural associations of Sarangi with a community that was regarded as um, socially and morally corrupt. The steady decline and very sparse presence of the sarangi in the performance scene in Hindustani music today is surely one of the tragic casualties of modernization and reform of Hindustani music and its practice. The harmonium, despite its limitations of not being able to produce ornaments or maintain continuity of the music or uh, you know easily produce microtonal nuancing, the harmonium has steadily gained ground. It did have some initial setbacks and challenges. In fact, 
the harmonium was at one time banned from the All India Radio as being unsuited to Hindustani music. There is a link to an interesting paper on this in the uh, description box. Do read it if you are interested. But other factors worked out in its favor and today the harmonium is the default accompaniment of khayal. Vyasmurthi Katti is a leading harmonium player of the country and has accompanied several uh, khayal vocalists and, and is a very good harmonium soloist himself. And in the next video, he will talk about the harmonium. He will talk about its history, its construction, how you play it, as well as aspects of sangat or accompaniment.